here at Microsoft Exchange 2010. I'm going to show you how to create a new user and a new mailbox at the same time. So if you go ahead and open up Exchange Management Console, expand the uh, default Microsoft Exchange, and then Recipient Configuration, then Mailbox. Right click and choose New Mailbox. We're going to choose a user mailbox. Choose Next. We're going to choose a new user rather than an existing user. Next. And we'll just go ahead and put in a name here and a password. It's got to be eight characters, at least one upper, one lower, and a number. And you can also tell the user they have to change their password at the next logon or not. Click Next. Put in your alias. You can call it whatever you want. You can also specify the mailbox database other than the defaults. We have two mailboxes, so we can choose either one or just let it choose the default. We don't have any separate mailbox policies or active sync policies as of yet, so we'll just leave that blank. We'll just go with the default. And we can also tell it to create an archive mailbox for this account as well, which uh, we will not at this time. Next and new. Click finish. So there is our new mailbox and if we go into Active Directory Users and Computers and we refresh then we should also see our new user and there is our new user Abe Lincoln.